Hello, so I'm trying to install Office 2019 Professional Plus and then I got this error message that it couldn't install Office. It can only install 32 bit. And if you read the message carefully, you will see that you will have to uninstall something, uh, a product that Microsoft has, which is Access Database Engine 2010. So in order to make this work, what we have to do is to close this, which will cancel the installation. Then you need to go to your window, type in control panel, then click enter. Click on uninstall a program. You can see here, I got two actually Microsoft Access database engines. So just double click on it. Click yes to remove that. So uninstalling the second one as well. Yes. I don't know why I had two, but never mind. So uninstallation is now complete. Then come back to your download folder and then, or wherever you download it, and then double click again. Say yes. Again, it says, please stay online while Office downloads. So try to have your good internet connection. It might take a while. So go make yourself a cup of coffee or a tea if that was you prefer. It was as easy as that. Installation is complete. So if you go on your start and then click on all apps. You should see all the new programs here. For example, OneNote, Outlook, starting Excel. And it says Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2019 includes these apps. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote. I don't know this, Access and Skype. Is this project? I don't know. Is this project? then it would ask you to activate this so it says you can activate over the internet so if you click next so it says activation wizard thank you your copy of microsoft version is activated to make your changes take effect exit and restart any open office programs get free updates help and this so you can just close that and we can just go and select one of the templates already. Double clicking and it opens and it works. Brilliant. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned how to activate your office and keep it 64 bit rather than bending to the difficulties and changing it to 32 bit. Don't forget to uninstall the other Microsoft things that you have in order to be able to install the 64 bit. All the best. Stay safe and I hope to see you again in my next video.